Well, success usually doesn't come easy. It takes hard work and sticking to your guns. And a new movie that's just come here to Australia highlights young entrepreneurs who are using proven strategies to attain success. Here's a snippet. Dr. Farah Gray is the internationally renowned business mogul, speaker, philanthropist, and best-selling author. He made his first million at the age of 14, selling his grandmother's pancake syrup and hasn't looked back. Well, I grew up in the projects on the south side of Chicago. And for me, I believe that comfort is the enemy of achievement. So growing up uncomfortable, and my mom had a heart attack. And I also am a strong believer that everybody meets a pivotal moment. And mine was when she had a heart attack and the doctor said that she may not live and it was due to how we were living in the projects. So I said to myself one morning when I woke up, I'm not gonna come home until I made enough money to help my mom pay the bills. So I went out and saw rocks in the streets and I painted them and I would knock on people's doors, and I never called them rocks. I would always ask people, would you like to buy this? And people look at me as if to say, ain't that the rock that was in front of my door? And I was like, yeah, but see, now it can be used as bookends, paperweights, and door stoppers. So I learned that as an entrepreneur, you don't have to necessarily invent something that the world depends on, uh, but you can reimagine something and reposition it. Well, let's get more with the executive producer of the Young Entrepreneur Society, or YES movie. Uh, useful acronym, uh, Lewis Lutman. Warm welcome to you. What is the secret if you distill it all down to all of these individuals? Because we had an earlier interview today where it all came down to hard work. Tell me it's something different. Well, Carson, you know, these, the movie, the Yes movie, we interviewed the world's most successful young self-made multimillionaires, and they actually had a belief mm. that they're going to succeed, regardless of yeah. their circumstances, yeah. regardless of their age, regardless of where they mm. were from. They actually had a belief, and they actually took action. See, the big difference is a lot of people have this dream, a lot of people have this idea of an innovation, of a new business, but these people actually got up off the couch and did something about it. Well, what is the missing link between the idea the light bulb moment and the getting off the couch moment, as you say. See, when you take that first step, you begin to build momentum. And it's the time and the speed and the velocity in which you start taking action. The Yes Movie is all about taking action. And we give you the specific actions and the sequence of actions that you need to take to be a successful entrepreneur. I think one of the challenges mm -hmm. is that we all have dreams, we all have ideas, but a lot of us don't get up and take that first step. So I would say, the, the key is how quickly are you going to get up and make that first step. How many Australians feature in this movie? We've got one Australian in the movie and he's got an amazing story and he tells you how you can systemize and automate your business so uh, it's something that I would absolutely recommend the Australian market to check out. How did you d decide uh, really who made the grade? What, 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 what benchmark of success do you ultimately boil it down to? Well, when we went to create the Yes Movie, we decided that we wanted to profile the stories of people who were able to transcend circumstances that were probably a lot more extreme than most people. So we found the story that they were just showing there was Dr. Farah Gray, who was a seven-year-old kid when he started his business, and he grew up poor to a single family home. And most of us who are probably watching this, they have a lot more opportunity than Farah Gray had. So we chose people who were in circumstances and who had family lives and uh, probably are coming from a lot less than the people watching this. Well, it's um, due for release. We do wish you well. We do indeed uh, thank you uh, for putting it out there into the market and uh, thanks for your insights. Lewis Loopman there, executive producer of the Young Entrepreneurship Society or the Yes Movie.